Hey everybody, it's Brett, and today I am extremely excited to show you this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392. Yes, this is the $100,000 Wrangler, and we're gonna get to the window sticker here at some point in this video, but probably not till the end. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go walk around this thing. We're gonna show you all the options on it. We're gonna discuss a little bit of the specs on it as well. And just my honest opinion, I think this is the best looking Wrangler that I have ever seen. Hands down, the black with the gold trim, the 392, the Rubicon, obviously the stance, wheels and tires. And uh, this one is loaded up nicely as well. So this one does have the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine, the 392 engine. I'm gonna start it up. We're gonna listen to that exhaust. It has dual mode exhaust. So definitely stick around for that. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we do videos like this each and every day. Love the front end on the 392. 470 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque. According to Jeep's website, this one can do 4.5 seconds, zero to 60, and has a 13 second quarter mile. Car and driver got a couple different numbers there. They said four second, zero to 60, and 12.9 quarter mile at 104 miles per hour. Anyways, this one can tow up to 3,500 pounds and will get you 16 miles per gallon on the highway and 13 city for an average of 14 miles per gallon if, that's, if you keep your foot out of it. Let's get to the styling on this thing. Obviously, the gold trim is prevalent throughout the vehicle. You get the gold tow hooks on there. Obviously, 2024, 392. Um, all the LED lights are standard. This one does have the metal bumpers. I think one of the only options this one doesn't have is the winch on the front. It does have the satin black hood. It has the true cowl induction hood. This is actually the hydro guide hood. And when we take a look under the hood, I, I will tell you that hood is very heavy. Uh, this one has obviously color match fenders. It does have the sky one touch power top. We'll take a look at that as well and you get the bigger wheels and tires with the 392 kit and you also get the wheel well or, or fender extensions on here to accommodate those bigger tires. Speaking of those tires, you get BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA tires. These are LT31570 R17s and you get the gold and polished aluminum wheels and obviously the Wrangler or the Jeep logo on the center there. Take a look at the suspension here. It's basically an extreme 35 inch tire and wheel group on this thing. You get the gold trim on the Rubicon decals on the hood as well as around the 392 there as well. One little Easter egg, you get these seven slots on that shroud there. You still get the sandals on here. Very hard to see on this one for whatever reason. Uh, but they are there. Trail rated badge and Jeep logo all trimmed in gold. You get the rock rails on there, the T50 on the doors. To get those doors off, we did a demo on how to take those doors off. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. This one's going to have the sport performance brakes in back, four wheel disc brakes, and you're going to get the tail light extensions on here. It's about an inch, and you can see that you get the dogs on there. There's Ralph and then Louis on the left. LED tail lamps, the metal bumpers in back. You get the hinge gate reinforcement on here. A uh, little bit of notes for the 392. This one is available in all 10 colors for 2024. So I'll try to remember them all. We got black, white, bright white, um, bikini, zenith, silver, sarge green, obviously black, and what other colors do we have? A high velocity yellow and Earl. I believe that's all of them. If I missed one, let me know in the comments below. Uh, just go, taking a look back here, this one does have the mirrors off or the doors off mirror kit, I should say. We did a demo on how to put those on. That's kind of a cool demo. Um, here's your case for the side windows. So these side windows pop off because this one has the Sky One Touch top. So these side windows pop off. We did a demo on that as well. You get the Alpine Premium Sound System and you get a storage area back here. Looks a little different than uh, the normal ones. I'm guessing probably because of the exhaust on here. Door hinge, roof, and windshield bolt holders 
on there as well. You get the seven slots on the back door and this trim plate is different on the 392. It's obviously all gold and black here and it's a little bit different because you only have the four door for the 392. You get the wheelbase, wheelbase and overall length as well as water fording and um, where it's made and built. So that's just a little bit different than any other Wrangler. You also get the gold tow hook back here, the receiver hitch with the four pin and seven pin wiring. So let's take a look at that exhaust before we start it up. You can see it's a single muffler that has a dual tip here. The difference is amazing, but it's, it's true duals all the way back to this muffler. The difference between the exhaust, um, the performance exhaust mode and the normal mode is quite significant. So we'll start it up here in just a second, but I just wanted to go over what's different on the 392 on the outside. And I think we hit just about everything on there. All right, we're already six minutes in. So let's go start it up. I'll do the remote start so you can hear it start up and hopefully it's in performance mode right away. But what I'll do is we'll start it up and then we'll switch modes. I'll pause the video so you can hear the difference. So it's pretty loud, I'm pretty sure this is performance mode, so I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna turn it into normal mode. So this is normal mode or quiet mode, obviously. If you don't want to anger your neighbors in the morning, definitely use this mode. But, if you wanna make your neighbors ang angry, put it in this mode. All right, we'll get somebody to rev it up at the end of the video, but let's get to the interior. So coming into the 392 interior, one thing to note that this red leather interior is standard and is the only color you can get on the 392. Love the, you know, basically hyper red stitching on the seats. I really like the material that Jeep is using in 2024 for the seats and for the steering wheel. The leather is, it's a really soft touch leather, but it's, it's firm. Uh, so they definitely did a good job on the padding on that. Both of these front seats are power. 2024 is the first year of the power seats. Lumbar on there, this one has the all weather floor mats, which are an option on this Jeep. You get the Gladiator and Wrangler back to, up to each other for 2024, that's new as well. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel. This one has the Gore-Tex type material on the dash with the red trim, power mirrors, power locks, and just show you the back seats real quick. They are obviously red as well. I'm a little surprised the seat belts aren't red. Let me know what you think in the comments below if they should have did that. And it does have side curtain airbags, which is new for 2024 as well. Those are standard features. You get the all weather floor mat back here. They are a topographical design. And down here, you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. Everything's pretty much the same as a normal Wrangler back here. And you get the child safety locks on the doors. So you get the seven inch LCD display, standard, obviously. The animation at the beginning is different, of course, for the 392, which looks pretty cool. And obviously the seven inch LCD display, the leather wrapped steering wheel with the red stitching, adaptive cruise controls, regular cruise controls, Bluetooth information center controls. You get the big paddles, uh, paddle shifters on there as well audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. And this one has the Uconnect 5 12.3 inch touchscreen radio. This one has the factory navigation system. This is the standard radio and the only radio that you can get on the 392. It's supposed to be five times faster than the Uconnect 4, but the navigation is standard on the 392. 
I'll just show you some of the options. I don't want to get too much into this radio because we could spend a lot of time on it. But here are your different sources, AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities, uh, and then all your different apps on here. Basically, this is just links to different parts of the radio. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay capabilities. I believe those are wireless capabilities as well. Uh, we can check out the camera system here. So you get a backup camera, which they've made these cameras HD on the Wranglers, which is really nice. And then you have the front camera, and those grid lines are dynamic, meaning that they turn as you turn the steering wheel. They kind of give you a future of where you're going. So if you're doing a lot of off-roading, uh, you can make sure that you're not going to hit any rocks or avoid logs and stuff like that or hit the rocks how you want to hit them on there. And then you can clean the camera glass there as well. Off-road pages, those are really cool. Uh, we'll check those out in a second. And then there are all your other apps. But off-road pages, you get your steering angle, your sway bar if it's connected, disconnected, front axle and rear axle if it's locked or unlocked. Steering angle, as I turn that steering wheel, those wheels change and are dynamic as well which is pretty cool you get the transfer case whether it's locked or unlocked you get latitude longitude and altitude on there um accessory great gauges as well pitch and roll this is a really cool feature especially if you're off-roading uh, make sure you know flip the vehicle <laughs> and uh anyways so that's everything with the radio pretty standard they've redesigned for 2024 they don't have the big circle um vents on there the vents are under here because of that new radio design they had to change this up here as well also standard for 2024 is the gorilla glass on the windshield because of the angle on these jeeps they're very prone to rock chips and stuff like that so the gorilla glass is supposed to strengthen that windshield just a little bit to help with that situation you get that gore-tex finish on the dash over there as well down here your more tactile volume tune and climate controls you also get a media center with an augs usb and usb c this is what makes the rubicon a rubicon a rough the off-road plus mode sway bar disconnect front and rear locking axles as well really make the rubicon the rubicon uh, package you get four auxiliary upfit switches with that tow package and the four x four shifter on the floor eight speed automatic transmission you get the jeep on the top there keyless entry with the flipper key remote start of course on this vehicle that's how we just started it and that's pretty much it for the interior i uh, did want to show you these side current airbags like i said 2024 first year that those are standard uh, features so good job jeep assist and sos buttons auto dimming mirror and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems let's open up the soft top it takes about 20 seconds so we started at about 12:51 on this particular video i'm not sure if it matters if the vehicle's running if it goes faster or not i don't think it does but 12:51, and that was about 19 seconds you also get different map lights on here. They used to be in a big cluster right here. Now they get two for the driver passenger and then two for the back passengers. And then the speakers are a little bit different on the top there as well. All right, let's go take a look under the hood and then we'll do a final walk around. I'll actually turn off all the lights in this picture studio so you can see it all lit up. Okay, under the hood, we have the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine, 392, 470 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque. You get the gold trim on the valve covers there. Looks really good. And take a look at this hydro guide system. So this is a true cowl induction hood, but they don't want the, because the hood is so big, the scoop is so big, if it's raining out, you're gonna get a lot of water in here and they don't want that water going into the engine obviously so this is the hydro guide system it wicks the water away from the actual air intake i'm not sure what it looks like underneath there but i'm sure it's kind of elaborate and there's probably filters and stuff in there too but anyways that's how that looks but this particular system is very heavy uh, to get this hood open it actually takes a little bit of effort to get that hood open because it is so heavy and I can't even do it because I'm holding the gimbal and I can't do it with one hand. It's just impossible. Anyways, so that's what it looks like under the hood. Uh, let's start it up. Can you hear how it sounds from here? It's 
really not that loud under the hood. The exhaust is definitely louder than <laughs> up here, but uh, runs really smooth, pretty quietly. Here's the emission sticker. Not for sale in states with California emissions. So you cannot buy this in California or if you live in a state with California emissions. All right, uh, we're gonna do a final rev of the engine. We'll do a final walk around with all the lights on and we'll be all good to go on this one. So before we start it up here and rev the engine, and, and we're not gonna rev it too hard because I just wanted to bring to your attention, there is a break-in period for the 6.4 specifically. It's on page 69 of your owner's manual, and the breaking in occurs mainly during the first 500 miles and continue, continues through the first oil change interval. It is recommended for the operator to, to observe the following driving behaviors during the new vehicle break-in period. Do not allow the engine to operate at idle for an extended period of time. Press the accelerator pedal slowly and not more than halfway to avoid rapid acceleration. Avoid aggressive braking. Drive with the engine speed below 3,500 RPMs. Maintain vehicle speed below 55 miles per hour. Press the accelerator pedal slowly and not more than halfway to avoid rapid acceleration in lower gears, first to third. Avoid aggressive braking. Drive the, with the engine below speed below 5,000 RPMs, maintain several, maintain vehicle speed below 70 miles per hour and observe local speeds. Um, oh, so that's for the first 100 miles and then this is for the 100 to 300. 300 to 500, exercise full engine RPM range shifting manually at higher RPMs when possible. Do not perform sustained operation with the accelerated pedal at wide open throttle. Maintain vehicle speed below 85 and for the first 1,500 miles, do not participate in track events or driving schools or similar activities. So basically after 1,500 miles, you can really let this thing roar, but follow these instructions to avoid any costly repairs um, or warranty problems with your vehicle uh, because everything is monitored. They have computers on these things. They can tell you just how much the RPMs went up and everything like that. Here's the original window sticker. I wanted to go over this too because it is a $100,000 Wrangler. So the base price on these 392s is 91,545. I'm not gonna go through everything. This one has the 35 inch tire Rubicon 392 suspension. Um, everything is standard on the left there. Like I said, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Uh, optional equipment is the black clear coat, which is 595. Windshield tie down by Mopar is 40. All weather floor mats are 170. The doors off mirror kit is 195. The performance satin grill is 325. And the Sky One Touch Power Top is 3995. Total MSRP on this one is $98,760. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen, is a link to our website. Also in the description below, there's a full description and links to our website and everything we basically talked about in this video. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon. You're gonna have $4,600 of fuel cost if you drive a lot. And the greenhouse and smog ratings, obviously not the best on this one. It's not been rated for safety ratings. But let's do a final walk around with all the lights off and then we'll rev it up and we'll be, but carefully though, and uh, we'll be all set to go. All right, you can see just how nice and bright those lights are. They look really good and definitely very nice that Jeep made the LED lighting groups standard for 2024 on most of the models. You can see just how bright they are. Nice and wide, nice and uh, white light from there. Not very yellow. Uh, vast improvement over the halogen lights that came on the Wrangler for years. And the LED tail lamps look really good as well as the LED license plate light. All right, let's uh, start it up and we'll rev it just a little bit so you can hear that performance exhaust at full song and we'll be all set to go. All right, we're gonna start it up here and then we're gonna rev it a little bit and we'll be all set to go. All right, give it off. Now that doesn't make your neighbors mad, I don't know what will. 
All right, so that does it, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, what you liked, what you didn't like. Always looking to improve these videos and just really, really excited that we were able to get a video of this Jeep Wrangler 392. Almost every one that we get on the lot is a, an order out and sold before I can even touch it. So this one is available in our inventory and it's linked in the description below. If it doesn't say sold in the title, this one is available. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, and specifically Wranglers, you can go to summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. If you wanna check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Jeep Wrangler walk arounds on YouTube, over 9,000 videos and over 500 Wrangler videos on there. Also stay current on our ever-changing and vast new and used inventory here at Summit Auto. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Jeep Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392 in black clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.